Well, hey everyone, and welcome to our physics homework tutorial. Uh, we hope you find this tutorial helpful in your study of physics, and if you do, please visit our website at www.physicsvodcast.com. There you're going to find over 200 physics examples in every topic of physics. Uh, it's sure to help you get through that physics homework. We'll see you then! physics teachers here. We have a ballistic pendulum problem. We're going to be firing a, an 8 gram bullet into a 2 kilogram block of the ballistic pendulum. The ballistic pendulum is originally at rest. The bullet does embed itself in the block and the combination of the bullet and block swing upward to a height of 0.24 meters. Uh, what we're asked to do here is figure out how fast that bullet is going when it leaves the gun. Okay, so we have a situation here where we're going to have to use both conservation of energy and conservation of momentum, okay? The conservation of energy portion is going to occur over here if you think about the diagram right here in this part of the diagram, all right? This is going to be your conservation of energy. We're going to have some potential energy here as a result of this thing swinging upward 0.24 meters and we're going to be able to figure out that, that potential energy and use that to figure out the kinetic energy then that the block has when it's moving. Once we do that, that will be able, that will allow us to essentially find the velocity that that block starts moving at at that point. From that point, the, then we will start looking at conservation of momentum, all right? And that is kind of the left side of the diagram, if you will the bullet leaving the gun and then colliding with the block is going to be a situation of using conservation of momentum. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here with it. Um, let's go ahead and start first of all with looking at that conservation of energy portion of the problem. So what we're going to say here is that the, um, the kinetic energy of um, the situation here, the one half is equal to one half mv squared, and that's going to be my bullet and block combination here after the collision already happens. Remember, conservation of energy is this portion of the situation over here on the right hand side of my diagram. So the kinetic energy, one half mv squared, plus the potential energy that we start with, mgh, okay, this is the beginning part, right, when the bullet collides with the block, has to be equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy at the highest point, okay, or at the upward swing that we have, all right? So, um, to make this a little simpler here, one of the things that we can do, if you remember back to conservation of energy, these all contain the mass, and the mass that we're canceling out here would be the mass of the bullet and block together, all right? So we don't need to include those in there. The uh, goal with this is to, for us to figure out the initial velocity that the bullet block combination starts moving at. Okay, so that's going to be my unknown. So I'll have one half v squared. I'm going to have no potential energy when those when the bullet and block initially come together. Afterward, when it swings up to its highest point here, I have no kinetic energy because it's temporarily going to be at rest there for an instant. So I have no velocity, no kinetic energy, and all I have is my g 9.8 times the height that it goes up 0.24. Okay. So working all of this out, I can figure out the velocity that that bullet and block have together here, and that velocity ends up being 2.17 meters per second. Okay, now the reason it's important for me to know that velocity is because now we're going to transition into a conservation of momentum problem. So what we're going to look at now is we have the bullet leaving the gun, all right? So we're going to have the mass of that bullet times its velocity, okay, V1, which is what we're essentially trying to find in our problem here. That's our ultimate goal here is the initial velocity of that bullet, all right, plus the mass of my block. Okay, times its velocity, which is going to be zero here to start out with, 
is going to have to be equal to, now remember, after the collision, these are going together. So we're going to have mass of bullet plus mass of block times V prime, if I can call it that. Okay? All right. Now, V prime is going to be the 2.17 that we just calculated. That's the, that's the velocity of the bullet and block combination after the collision. So, let's start plugging in some numbers here. Again, remember our goal is to figure out what the velocity of the bullet is as it leaves the gun. All right, the mass of the bullet was given to us as 8 grams, so that's .008 kilograms. Again, don't forget to convert those units. Times V1 plus... The mass of the block times the velocity of the block initially is going to be zero because this velocity of the block is zero. It has no movement before the collision. That's going to equal the mass of the block and the bullet together. So that's going to be 2.008 kilograms times that velocity of 2.17. All right. So working this out, I will be able now to solve for the velocity of that bullet and to calculate that out I'll end up getting a velocity of, for that bullet of 544 meters per second.